Could we be seeing kill streaks in Modern Warfare's Battle Royale? I think it would be fucking insane. Imagine dropping a tactical nuke on a Battle Royale map. That would be insane. Imagine in an AC-130 in a Battle Royale map. I think it would be insane. I think it would be a load of fun. So do a lot of other people who are going to be discussing information that we already know about the Battle Royale, as well as new information, as well as the potential for kill streaks in the Battle Royale. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. Would you like to win a Modern Warfare beta code? If you do, then all you're gonna have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and just leave a random comment in the comment section below. So some of the things that we already know about the Battle Royale, it's going to have quad bikes, vehicles, land vehicles, air vehicles, sea vehicles, the full shebang, sort of like Blackout at the moment. It's going to have 100 players, but we could see as many as 120 or upwards. It's also being developed by Raven Software and is due to come out for free in 2020. But could you imagine sitting in a game of Modern Warfare's Battle Royale? You've got a 15 kill streak, you've just earned yourself an AC-130, you pop that shit open and you're sat in your throne about to rain fire down on those noobs. The limits to how many kills people could get in a game would be extraordinary. I could imagine if it was 120, fools could be dropping 50 or 60 kills on a battle round, which would be insane. And then obviously you've got the nuke. The most iconic thing in Call of Duty history. As you saw at the start, tactical nuke incoming. Could you imagine those little wiener kids shitting themselves at the prospect of a nuke coming that they can't out camp gareth coming home from school after being beaten up and having his lunch money taken comes home to play call of duty to sit with his penis in the ground could you imagine that he would not be able to out camp this thing he wouldn't be able to catch you on a 20 kill high game of call of duty and then shoot you in your ass because you haven't checked your corners because you don't expect old Gareth to be sat in the corner with his dick in the ground. It's something that you couldn't outcamp. Now, a lot of people may say that getting a tactical nuke or getting any kill streak in any Call of Duty battle round would be too overpowered. But it wouldn't. How many of you watching this video can actually get 25 kills and a kill streak of 25 on a normal game of Blackout? Not many, I would presume, if not. None. And I'm not saying that you're shit at the game, but it is a very difficult task. A very difficult task. And if you have, I couldn't imagine you're dropping 25 kills every single game. And even if you were to drop 25 kills, they normally come right at the end of the game. So you'd only be getting a couple of kills anyway. In terms of getting the nuke and getting kill streaks, you have to earn kill streaks via gun streak. So you have to go on a gun streak, a 25 gun streak to get the tactical nuke. You wouldn't be able to use your kill streaks like you do in Modern Warfare 2 that would count towards you getting a tactical nuke. So you say you've got about 11 gun kills, you've got your AC-130, you get another 10 kills in that, and then you only have to get, say, two more kills to get your tactical nuke. It wouldn't work like that. You would have to go on a 25 gun streak. Any kills that you get in a kill streak would count towards your overall score, but not your overall gun streak towards the nuke. I think, personally, that it's a fun idea no other Battle Royale's done it either. So it would be something specific to Call of Duty. And as we know, Call of Duty gets compared to Fortnite. It gets compared to other Battle Royales all the time for copying other ideas. Now, you have fools copying your ideas, Call of Duty. Employ me, Activision. I'm telling you, I can make your game immense. It would be so special. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with what I've said? Let me know all that in the comment section below. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you did enjoy and leave all the comments in the comment section below. But this is Lukey and I'm signing out. Peace.